Hey everyone, Dan Day Mac here. One of the essential baby products you're gonna need is a stroller. There are so many different types out there and it can be tough to sift through them all when you don't have the ability to go out and test all of them firsthand. We knew we wanted to get a stroller that could act as part of a travel system for the level of convenience provided. And we also knew that we wanted to go a little bit on the higher end so that we could be one and done with stroller purchases. After researching and testing some of the best multi-baby systems out there, such as the Upper Baby Vista, the Baby Jogger Select, and a few others, we ended up going with the Nuna Demigro. So we paired the Demigro stroller with the Nuna Pippa Light RX infant car seat. We were able to purchase all of this as one package together through strolleria.com. Three things that you need to think about before you get too far along in your stroller shopping experience are how many kids do you wanna have? Do you plan to have them back to back or space them out? And what is your budget? Answering those three questions will really help you narrow it down. For us personally, we talked about having maybe two to three kids spaced out over a couple years. So we knew that we were gonna be able to get a stroller that didn't necessarily have to have two seats together immediately. And we knew we had a budget of about $1,500 to spend on the entire package. So this is my third review on a product. You may have noticed a trend if you watched the other two videos that I've only been reviewing products that we really have been impressed with and really have enjoyed using. In this video, I'm going to show you all the main features of the stroller, how it works with the infant car seat as a true travel system, and explain to you why we chose the Nuna over other brands. Again, this is not a paid or sponsored review. These are honest opinions about a product that we bought with our own money. Let's get into it. All right, so starting with the features, we have the canopy and adjustable seat. We bought our Demigro back around the end of 2020, and since then, Nuna has added a few upgrades, but the stroller comes with a removable water repellent canopy that provides great coverage from the sun. There's a peekaboo window that can be used for quick check-ins and a dream drape that can be extended to create a full overhead cover for additional privacy. The new 2022 model comes with a second special air protect canopy as well, which comes with a built-in bug cover and added ventilation. We've had no issues with the classic canopy, but I'm sure it's nice to have the new one just to have options. The adjustable seat includes removable and washable seat liners and inserts and has a mesh backing for added comfort and breathability. Our daughter always seems comfortable in this seat, but we did grab a nice little rechargeable stroller fan that has three bendable legs and we can attach it to the child grab bar for some extra breeze. I would definitely recommend getting one of these, especially if you live in a warmer climate area. I'll link ours down below if you decide you want to snag one. Up next, we have the no rethread harness with the Magnatech Secure Snap. This magnetic buckle is very easy to latch and release. The straps adjust smoothly and always feel secure. The magnetic buckle is just so convenient and I think it's great because there's much lower chance of pinching your child than standard buckles. I do still get a little nervous sometimes buckling our daughter into chairs and car seats and did pinch her one time which made me feel absolutely awful. This buckle relieves that concern and having the ability to release both straps with a single hand is super helpful. The stroller comes with large puncture proof wheels with a custom dual suspension. The suspension can be changed with a simple flip of the switches on both sides. You have the up position for rough terrain and the down position for smoother surfaces. The stroller has a solid built-in basket for storage on the undercarriage. We put our diaper bag down there all the time and still have plenty of room for toys, blankets, or other items. One drawback, however, is this stroller doesn't come with a great place to put your phone or any cup holders for easy access. Nuna sells cup holder attachments and other accessories, but a single cup holder from them is around 25 bucks. We bought this awesome caddy that Velcros to the stroller handles, and it comes with two cup holders, a nice pocket for your phone with a magnetic cover, and a zipper compartment to hold additional items like headphones, jewelry, wallets, or doggy bags. I'll drop a link to the one we have down below, but there are a ton of different options out there. Uh, one of my favorite features of this stroller and one that we felt was a big advantage over some of the other comparable strollers that we tested out is how easily this stroller folds up and down. There are two latches that you simply pull up on and the entire stroller with the seat attached folds up just like that. When you're opening the stroller is where it gets really convenient as you can unhook the one side and then just pull up with one hand until it's fully opened and locked. And being able to do that when you're juggling a baby, bag, and whatever other number of objects you have in your arms is really helpful. The stroller can remain standing on its own when it's folded up. It is a little bit on the heavier and bulkier side, so it can be tough to get in and out of cars, but that's pretty typical for any big stroller like this. The Demigro can be set up in 23 different configurations using the included toddler seat, one of the infant car seats, and the optional bassinet. 
Therefore, this can accommodate single children, multiple kids of different ages, or twins. Again, we hope to only ever have a max of two kids needing to ride in this at one time, in which case we would have the stroller set up with a toddler seat down below facing forward and an infant seat up top. We always prefer to have our infant facing us, so that's just the configuration I see us most likely using. Each of the two seat locations on the stroller can hold up to 50 pounds. For comparison, the Upper Baby Vista's upper seat can hold 50 pounds, but the lower seat can only hold up to 35 pounds. So the Demi Gro does have a little bit of an advantage there. Lastly, the stroller comes in a few different color options, so you can grab one that suits your style. We have the refined color, which is a medium gray with nice brown leatherette handle grips. I would just remember to consider your children do have to ride in this and darker colors may get hotter. Now, what is a travel system and how is it different from a standalone car seat and stroller? A travel system is a standalone car seat and stroller, but the term system refers to the compatibility of the car seat with the stroller, either directly or through special attachments. This allows for additional convenience, especially during those early months of infancy. For this setup, an infant car seat base is required. This typically comes with the infant car seat and remains in the car at all times. The base is secured to the seat through the seat clips or through a seatbelt latch. The seat, which can act as a carrier, then clips into the base through the safety latches that holds it in place. You can certainly buy different strollers and car seat brands and transfer your baby between the two. But in my opinion, having the ability to simply pop out the car seat and pop it directly into the stroller or vice versa is super clutch, especially when you're a new parent and you are trying to figure out how to juggle all the stuff that you need to bring with you everywhere you go. Now, the focus of this video is obviously on the stroller, but since this is part of a travel system, I did want to mention we chose the Pippa Light car seat specifically because it is one of the lightest, if not the lightest infant car seats out there which makes it so much easier to handle as a first time parent. I believe the standard Pippa Light car seat weighs under six pounds. For comparison, most other infant car seats weigh anywhere from eight to 12 pounds. You will have to carry your baby in the seat at some point, And while it may not seem significant, the few pounds difference between this seat and others is really noticeable. I definitely recommend going to a store where you can test some of them out and hold them and walk around for a little bit just to see how it feels when you're carrying them. This stroller is just so smooth and easy to maneuver. Some of the other ones that we tested were a little bit harder harder to turn. Having the bulk of the weight set back over the rear wheels really makes it easier to control. Now we chose this product for the quality, but the aesthetics are obviously pleasing as well. It's got a little bit of class without over bougieing it. Most of the other high-end strollers do have a similar appearance, and while the pure aesthetics wouldn't have been a deal breaker for us, it definitely helps having a product that looks nice. So in conclusion, we've had this stroller system for about two years. We haven't had any issues with it. We take walks at least two times a week, so it has gotten plenty of use, and I don't foresee us having to buy another one at any point. The $1,500 we spent collectively on this package, including the stroller, the infant car seat, and the infant car seat base, was totally worth it in my opinion. I would easily pay $25 a month for a good quality product or service and seeing as we are likely going to get at least four years of use out of this that's really what it boils down to additionally i have a lot of confidence and feel that this stroller is still going to be in great shape when we are done using it so there's a possibility that we can pass it on to a family member or even perhaps sell it for a few hundred bucks and recoup some money at the end. I know that was a ton of information, but I hope this was helpful for any of you out there that are new or prospective parents who are looking to buy your first and possibly only stroller. The tab can grow very quickly for new parents and some of these purchases are big chunks of money that you should be taking very seriously. Make sure to do your research and find the product that works best for your needs and budget. I can't emphasize enough the importance of going and physically testing out as many of these as you possibly can. There are gonna be certain things and features that work better for some people than others. This one just happened to work best for us. If you found this video helpful, please click that little thumbs up button down there. It really helps out the channel and make sure to share this video with anyone who you think it might help. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future product reviews or parenting tips. As always, thanks for watching.